video. Uh, this time I'm at Garforth, just outside Leeds. Um, it's going to be a short one, is this? One position that I've set up. Uh, I'm going to try and get the uh, back end of a Class 68 underneath the uh, Northeastern Railway footbridge uh, and try and build it into a sort of a, a dusk to night shot. So I'm just going to hang around in the same position, same composition. Uh, but I'll leave the camera rolling, there's all sorts of trains through, uh, a couple of IETs, there's even a cross-country HST that's due along, so uh, stick around, watch it, I'll show some trains, but I'm only going to go for one photograph composition, as I say, tonight, so uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, keep watching. I'm just going to get behind the camera now, this is our... Uh, I think it's a Newcastle to Liverpool IET coming along, so I'm just going to try and get that in the, in the station. It's almost here, so I'm just going to get behind the camera now and see if I can get that into a shot. Can you see me there? There I am. Right, let me get round here. Look, I don't want to move the camera because I'm, uh, I'm all set up. Now, let me show you what I did on that uh, IET that just went through, or IEP, whatever they're called. I got my first shot, so it's ISO 1600, so it'll be quite grainy with that and noisy. 1 640th of a second, and it's just about, if I zoom in, it looks like it's stopped it sharp enough at that. But I'm not happy with a high ISO, so what I did, as soon as the train had gone, I, I took a few on a burst as it was going through, and I, I got another shot when it had gone. Same exposure level, but 1 25th of a second, f6.3, ISO 160. And what I'll do is I'll join the two together in Photoshop. So this one here with the ISO 160, f6.3 and 1 25th of a second will become the base shot and then I'll just mask in the train maybe just needs a little bit of sharpening or noise removal on the train and, and, and blend that in so you end up with a base shot that's a, a better quality and you don't really notice the fact that uh, the train might just be a little bit noisy uh, and that's what I tend to do on these evening shots is go for a base shot and then blend in the, uh, the train that's, that's moving. Just about now, there should be an HST coming from Plymouth up to Edinburgh, shooting around this corner. But it's 30 minutes late, so it'll probably be dark by the time it gets here. So. Right, I've been here an hour now. I arrived just before the 68 to Scarborough okay. and there's another one an hour later hopefully it's a 68 I've no idea whether it is it's just approaching Garforth now so uh, I've no idea whether the 68's on the front or the back and uh, I'm hoping it's on the back actually because it does make a nice shot underneath the bridge oh, we've got something that looks like a trans pennine going the other way I'll get out of the way and hopefully the uh, 68 will come along very soon
Okay, thank you for watching. I'm hoping you've enjoyed that one. Um, oh, right, you know I was mentioning that HST that was uh, half an hour late. Well, it's on its way through now, so I'll just get out of the way, watch that go through, and, uh, and I'll say bye in a moment. So uh, there we are, I didn't photograph it, but uh, yeah, I've got the last shot of the station light, so I'll blend all that together and we can see what that looks like. But uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy these little trips out with my camera and seeing behind the lens. I enjoy doing them actually, it's quite a, uh, a really enjoyable process, not only processing the images, but doing the, the video side of things as well. So uh, if you enjoy it, comment, like, come along on the next one as I keep saying. And uh, to see more, subscribe. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. Thank you for coming along. Goodbye. <laughs>